King's Dream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn. If you guys don't know, I am based in San Diego. Yes, the most beautiful city in the country, maybe in the world. I've been living here since 1991. I currently live in North County. And San Diego is in California, obviously. And the governor here has some really interesting policies when it comes to COVID. Now, I am not one of those people that thinks that COVID is a hoax or that whatever. Like, I think we need to protect the vulnerable. I think we need to follow protocol. But some of this protocol is a bit ridiculous. For example, Thanksgiving dinner, uh, you're not allowed to have more than three different households together. They have to be outside. And the kicker is you got to wear a mask in between each bite. Literally, take a bite, put the mask back on. Take a bite, put the mask back on, right? Uh, how's he going to enforce that? Who knows? The most startling part is that we recently went into the purple tier here in San Diego. And the purple tier, everything shut down. Everything shut down. Gym shut down, churches shut down, except essential businesses. Now, what may you say is an essential business? To me, the gym and the church is an essential business. I'm very, very frustrated that I can't go to the gym. I got a gym in my backyard, so I've been fine. But I think gyms are essential. I think church is essential. However, all that is shut down. So what is essential in San Diego? Strip clubs. That's right. You guessed it. Strip clubs can stay open in San Diego. How? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that makes any sense, but Governor Newsom decided that it was okay for strip clubs to stay open, but churches had to shut down. You 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 had to have Thanksgiving dinner outside and, and gyms had to be shut down. Wild, crazy, I don't know. I think this is a deeper issue to governmental stepping in and, and having a little too much authority, in my opinion. And I also think unjust laws will create unjust responses right if you if you have stupid laws people aren't going to follow them and by the way i'm a, i 100 percent uh signed a petition to get governor newsom overturned not because i think he's an evil democrat or any of that nonsense just because i think he's just an incompetent leader and uh and hopefully they can recall him and we can we can vote for him but so this is true right now in san diego everything is, is shut down except essential businesses uh, churches are supposed to be shut down Gyms are supposed to be shut down, but strip clubs are allowed to stay open. And so the church right up the street called The Waken in San Marcos, they're, uh, I think, a plant out of Australia. They have a couple campuses around here. They reclassified themselves as a strip club for the right to stay open. I'm not making this up. This is freaking hilarious. Okay, this is My Christian Daily. I just signed up to it recently. They had the story, and then I'm gonna show you guys the clip. A San Diego church fed up with unfair restrictions on churches while strip clubs are allowed to open to the public has taken a dig at the city's authorities. Before the start of Sunday's uh, preach, preach? Uh, the speakers at Awaken Church did a strip where they removed their jackets, ties, and belts, mocking the fact that the churches have strict uh, guidelines. Strip clubs, not churches, are exempt from COVID lockdowns and are deemed essential by our governor, senior pastor said. So we decided we are now Awaken Family Friendly Strip Club, <laughs> where we strip the devil of his hold and power and authority over people's lives. Enjoy the intro to the preach today. I guess they call it the preach. The pastor recently posted an image on Check this out. This is what they did uh, at the church. This is literally down the street from me. Check this out. Go, <laughs> Sam. Go, Pastor. Go. Can we hit our 30 seconds? We got to be legal for 30 seconds. They had to legally strip for 30 seconds. That's it. That's it. Sorry to disappoint. Come on. Now, just to be clear, um, I haven't been to Awaken personally. They're down the street. I, I know some people that were from their Carlsbad campus. I, I'm not going to lie. I think it's a bit... Um, it's a bit wild from what I hear in terms of nobody wearing masks inside the church, no one social distancing. I think that's a little reckless in my opinion. But what I think is more reckless is the fact that you, Governor Newsom or leaders of California, would think it's appropriate to keep strip clubs open. Strip clubs open, right? Why? While telling churches to shut down. What would have been responsible is just shut down strip clubs because that just seems very inconvenient. Uh, it's to churches 
shut down strip clubs and shut down churches. That, that at least would have been more just, right? And this is the thing that happens is when there are unfair laws, when there are dumb laws, and this is a dumb law, you're going to get some of these responses, meaning that what would have been reasonable is like, hey, keep, if you want to keep strip clubs open, which I think are way more likely to spread COVID, that's cool. But then tell churches to, you know, practice social distancing, wear masks, be reasonable. I don't know. That that's that's what I think would have been the appropriate thing to do. Instead, you are infringing on people's rights to gather and express themselves religiously while saying this thing is okay. And it almost, it almost and I'm saying this is their motive, but it it it, it appears it appears, and remember, appearances are important. It appears like they get to pick and choose what is, um, what is and isn't right, and that is extremely frustrating when you have Governor Newsom telling people that they can't meet, and yet he himself is out at dinner having thousand-dollar plates with no masks on indoors, uh, flippantly doing whatever he wants right? Flippantly doing whatever he wants and lying about it. Initially saying this was an outdoor dinner when really it was an indoor dinner, no one's social distance, people from multiple households and nobody's wearing masks. This is hypocrisy. This is, this is, this is the epitome of hypocrisy from leaders and it's not okay. And I hope, and I believe that, um, this man gets recalled. I think he needs to get recalled. I don't think this is okay. I am going to do everything I can uh, to, to to vote against him because I think this man is, I am going to vote against him and I'm going to persuade all my friends and family to vote against him because I think he's wild and reckless. So um, there you have it. Shout out to Awaken Church. I wish you guys did wear masks to practice a little bit of social distancing to protect the vulnerable. But no shout out to the state of California who's completely just doing kind of a cruddy job in terms of how they're rolling this out. Remember, when it comes to people's liberties and you taking away people's liberties and you wanting to impose certain restrictions like telling us we have to wear a mask in between bites at Thanksgiving, um, perception is reality to a lot of people. And so if you're coming off like a oppressive, controlling, big brother type of government, well, guess what? That's how we're going to feel. And guess what? We still get a vote in the state of California, and we will do everything we can to recall you and hopefully devoid you of your power, Governor Newsom. And I think that's whack. And it's not about Democrats or Republicans. You guys know I'm not on, on, on either side, but I think this is pretty goofy. And uh, I thought that was hilarious that Awaken Church did that. I thought that was funny. So what do you guys think? Kingstream Entertainment. Bruce Lawn.